Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. It is a beautiful, hot, sunny Sunday afternoon. I hope everybody's doing well and keeping safe. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I wanna welcome you to my channel. I will be sharing a recipe for catfish curry. It is Sunday and I love to have a nice curry on the weekend. So today it's gonna be catfish curry. If you wanna see how I'm doing this, come on down and let's get cooking, guys. So here I have the catfish washed with lime. And what all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of salt on the fish before I start cooking it. I'm gonna leave it here until I finish getting up all the other ingredients for the curry. And then I'll come back to it. But look what I wanna show you guys. It came with eggs. And I don't know when was the last time I had catfish egg, but I'm very excited for that. The eggs are not big, but it will be nice. So we can cook a very delicious catfish curry without these ingredients. And I have here some garlic. I have some maruri pepper for flavor, broadleaf thyme, my fresh green onions from my garden, and I have some fine thyme. I have half of a large onion. I'm gonna blend up all this except the onion and I'll come right back and show you what it looks like. So in this bowl here, I have one teaspoon of roasted jeera. I have one tablespoon of turmeric powder and I have one tablespoon and a half of Lala's curry powder. I'm gonna mix up all the green seasoning that I just blend up. And I love to use fresh blend green seasoning for when I'm making curry. But if I have to season meat or fish, I don't mind using the frozen one. So I made my paste here now. And over here, these are some of the other things that we're gonna add to the fish curry. So I have my onions chopped up. I have two tomatoes, I have my green mangoes, I have some okra and maruri pepper that I'm gonna be adding as well. And here I have saijan or moringa um, for, for additional flavor. So I add some oil in the pan. I'm gonna be adding my curry paste now to the pot. I don't want the oil to be too, too hot because then I'm gonna have Lots of steam coming up. I am um, gonna leave all the ingredients, the measurements in the description below. So if I miss anything, it's gonna be in the description. So I'll give this a turn. We're gonna cover this, let it cook until the color change to a nice brown color and until it starts sticking to the bottom before I add anything else to the pot. So we're gonna check on this now. And it is looking nice. The color has changed a little and it starts sticking to the bottom. So at this point, I like to add some salt. So I'm gonna go in with about a teaspoon of salt because I already add some salt to the fish. And I like to add my onion at this point because the onion cooks very fast. So I don't like to add it too early in the dish. I would still like to have that rich onion flavor just before I add the fish. So I'm gonna let this cook about another minute and a half before I add anything else. Mm -hmm. Looking good, yes. And this is where I'm gonna add the fish because everything is sticking now to the bottom. Lots of steam on the camera. So I'm just gonna flow down my stove. I'm gonna add those pieces of fish. I'm gonna keep the eggs to add a little bit later 
because we don't want it to mash. And then I'm going to turn this up while the fish is still fresh and in place so they don't, I can't turn them up too much later on. And this is looking nice already. So I'm going to let this fish water cook out and then we'll come back and check it out. So the water is burned out. I'm going to be adding now my coconut milk. I like to add coconut milk to fish curry because it changes the fish curry flavor and give it a nice sweetish flavor instead of that fishy kind of taste. And you just want to shake it up like that a little. I'm going to add a little bit more of water, but before I do so, I'm going to add my mangoes because these are hard and they need to cook I'm gonna go in with my moringa or saijan and this really gives a nice flavor to the fish curry and I have here some tomatoes and my okra and some maruri pepper so the okra and the saijan was frozen the tomatoes were frozen too so we're just gonna add a little bit more of water i'm gonna cover this down let it cook on medium heat until it's done so here is my beautiful catfish curry all done nicely with a nice thick gravy i just want to show you guys all are invited let me know when was the last time you had catfish curry i can't wait to dig in and let you guys know how this beautiful fish curry tastes so guys here is that beautiful catfish curry with all the goodies i have my okra my saijan or moringa i have my mariburi pepper here green mango and piece of the fish egg now i'm gonna dig in I want a little bit of this pepper and let you guys know how this tastes with some of the green mango. Mix in well and I like the head so that's my favorite part. I ha gotta have the head. To all my viewers and all my subscribers, cheers to this beautiful fish curry. Mmm. Oh my God. So delicious. So flavorful. That co coconut milk bind everything together. And there's nothing like a good fish curry with all the other trimmings. Cheers. Mmm. I'm so happy right now. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please consider doing so. Until then, I want to say to you guys, stay blessed, stay safe. I'm going to take a piece of the fish. Bye for now.